using tomatoes this summer. I'm Tina Redwine with today's quick tip. Joining us is Marjorie Scotty from the Greenwich Botanical Center. She's going to teach us how to harvest the sweetest tomatoes this summer. And my family will be amazed, as will I. A trick that I love, which will produce very, very sweet and abundant plants, um, is to prune your tomato. So what you do is you just, you can take a scissors or you can do it by hand. You take off these lower leaves of your all tomato. All the lower leaves? All the lower leaves. Make sure that it doesn't have, you're not cutting anything off that has a bud. You don't want, you want to, of course, save the buds, which will become the tomatoes. And then you have to prune all of this down here? Yes. Oh my You'll gosh. Get okay. The best. No wonder mine aren't growing. Well, yes. And then how far up do you prune? Um, you can prune, and you do this over the season. So you can look, like this one right here, this isn't doing anything, this leaf right here. You just prune that right off. Good. And then what happens is all of the energy, instead of going to those leaves that don't produce fruit, will go through to the tomato. And the cherry tomatoes are some of the sweetest to They're try to grow? Fantastic. Fantastic. And they're $1.50 at the Greenwich Botanical Center, and there are master gardeners there that will tell you for free. They'll show you how to repot everything. A trick to get it out of the pot is to squeeze the bottom. Squeeze the bottom. And then like, cup the plant, turn it back over, and we're just going to make a little hole there. And how deep? Um, well, what we're going to do, we're, you want to cover the stem a little bit. Tomatoes like to be in, the, in deep, and um, they will root from the stem. So probably, you know, I would go about a half an inch down with this tomato plant. Oh. Cover up this stem about okay. a half an inch. Put a blanket it, on it, right? Yeah, and then I've got some soil here organic soil that is meant for vegetables. It's got some compost in it as well. And we'll just cover this up, yeah, about a half an inch up that stem. And it'll keep it very stable, and it'll root very well. This tip is online at news12.com with Marjorie Scotty. Tina Redwine, News 12, Connecticut.